Hi. <laughs> we made groovy time. <laughs> okay. So what does it do? Tell um, me about the game a little bit. Our game is a Simon-like um, gesture game where you have to match the gestures in your hands to uh, the arrows on the screen. On, on, on the, on on the, the TFT, TFT screen. The TFT okay. screen. Okay. Um, so uh, all of the, the modules on my person are wireless using uh, Arduino RF um, radio. Uh, and then uh, the Arduino is connected to a PIC32, which uh, inputs uh, or takes in data from an accelerometer on uh, the hand. Um, the the PIC32 um, computes the data and sends an outputted state to the Arduino, which sends it over radio to another Arduino on the base station. Um, and, so and the, the RF radios communicate with the Arduinos over SPI, um, and there's one on each base station. Um, and then at the base station, we have a start button, and we have um, the potentiometer to choose between like different states. Okay. And um, the Arduinos are essentially a, a device driver for the radios because yes. the because the library was already written. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Okay. So after that zoops over to the radio, we're ready to play, well we are ready to play our game anyway, and you'll see that. So we can click this button, and it just, you know, calibrates for a second. And now it's time to groove. So we can pick our song right here. Um, so we have Rasputin, Generic Groove, Just Dance, Medieval Generic, and just some guy saying yeet. <laughs> Today we're going to be playing uh, Just Dance because we have the most practice with it. Let's see how far we get. We also have these graphics showing you whether or not you got it right and a little feedback here telling you what your input's being read at. That me. looks hard. Yeah, it is pretty hard. And and does this get aerobic as as uh, as it moves along? Yeah, it can. So we set different times. We have like uh, the song set up in a way that you can manually set um, like by programming it what like the moves and what times they'll be going at, as well as the transition between moves. So you can make some pretty hard levels in this. Uh, regardless of just having a few directions to move in. <laughs> also, if you're having trouble, um, if the game is having trouble detecting your moves, there's a calibrate state, um, which you control on this board, pressing a button. Um, so this, this is, uh, uh, you, ha you have to um, uh, register your state based on the LEDs. So you press, um, Oh, I see. So you tell it what's up and yeah. what's down. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you can, you can pause the game and recalibrate mm -hmm. if you need to. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you.